is dark. In the dark I lay, who knows how long I'll stay. I miss my family deeply, trying to find my way. I'm deep inside a hole, too far into the ground. <clears throat> no one will be able to save me because I'm so deep down. It'll take forever to find my trapped body. No one will ever save me, so I say goodbye to my body. The second poem I will read is called Our World. The world is full of lies. Animals, people, and the one who hides behind the disguise. Did you ever realize? <clears throat> The world you live in is not quite wise. Look around and you will see all the different spies lying right in front of those innocent eyes. Um, hi. Um, I'm Alberto B. Hill and I am from Raytown Middle School and I brought here three poems. And they are called The Dark Truth. The Gaze of Change, and Hermano Mio, Alfredo Aguilera. So I'm gonna start off with The Dark Truth, because this was my first poem. So. What do you think that makes you feel? What do you feel that makes you think? In this generation, depression is a common misconception, but people suffering know that pain is a real deception. In this world of depression, you have two sides, one battling and the other seeking redemption. Now the problem with the world in this generation is that it's easy for people to laugh and difficult to understand what the person is feeling and thinking. People don't know about the anti-depression and anxiety medicine. People don't know about the hard work put into rehabilitation. And it's hard when people come to the realization and see what the real world is and end it. Yes, I know I wrote this poem in an hour, but for some, poetry and writing keeps them alive for another hour. Thank you. Okay. Second up is the games of change. We fear what we can't see. We get hurt and then we start to tear. Something happens, someone passes, and there comes the fear. We start to not care and we envy others and we start to compare. But they who try to help, we look elsewhere and start to fear everywhere. We ask ourselves, ask ourselves if anyone cares. Time passes and everything changes. A week ago, my hair was long, my hair was short, and now it's long. But change comes everything. Turns lighter. You gave up, and you see that the sun is bright. Days pass and soon begin to fade, and soon will lead to change that needs to happen. So, um, this is the most hardest poem I've had to write, but this is to my brother, Tito Aguilera, my brother, and it's called Time is the Real Enemy, and a little backstory to this is that on December 11th, my brother was wounded by an officer. I'm not saying that what he did was right, and it was wrong. But now my brother is doing three years in jail, and I wrote a poem just for here. Little boy, his life went by. Then a teenager, so young, early, and said goodbye. Goodbye to your goals. Goodbye to your future. Goodbye to school, even though you're just a junior. Thinking back, you start to see how life can be so cruel. All the people you thought were so cool and looked up to just ended up using you like a tool. Now you know who was the real fool. We both... 
In this world, there's the good and the bad, and you chose the bad. Believe me, I know how you feel about the world not having a real dad. Well, you should have said no to the crime and just luck to making your rhymes. You shouldn't have gone out. You shouldn't have gone out that night. You should have just stuck to your bedtime. But now you haven't arrived at time at penitentiary. You're going to be here. You will be gone for so long that it's no time to just become memories. And now you'll see that time is the real enemy. Thank you. Great time, middle school. My name is Ryan Dow. Um, I have written two poems called TikTok and Night Ash. I'll start off with TikTok. Um, a broken person is as good as a broken clock. The hands may move, but never at the right time. TikTok, TikTok, the second hand moves. Bum bum, bum bum, the human heart beats. TikTok, 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 TikTok. And now we're reading Midnight Ash. In the Midnight Ash, all I see are stars, the ones I wished on as a child. I'm all alone, I run fast, finding a way out. But I don't find myself what I expected. Instead of a midnight ash, I see a white sunrise. I try to turn, but it's pulling me in. I walk into the white sunrise, I'm gone, Midnight Ash. Right, that was Raytown Middle School. Uh, like I said, these 